All right, so I'm up at the campground and uh, get a call from the wife. Tells me the golf cart stopped running. Well, secondary clutch decided to fall apart in pieces. So what we're gonna do, order a new one. We're gonna put another one on here. All right, first thing we wanna do is take this nut off right here, which is a 17 mil. Okay, I'm just gonna hit this with the impact. Hold on to this. All right. Okay, there's a little keyway in here. So you gotta watch not to lose it. You'll see the slot right there. Yeah, I put it right on top. Like you could buy an actual puller that goes on here, buy it through Amazon, anywhere, that sells the clutch. Um, I already had this set. So, why not, right? But this is what we're gonna take this off. Only I had to do was I had to buy some metric bolts, the M6s. These ones are 50 millimeters. Uh, get you two at 75 millimeters, you're better off. We get some washers, put them on there. And that's that. Now, in order to keep this from spinning, I'll take a little ray bar here, stick that here. Put it here. And we're off. Take this. Now this already has the heavy duty spring on here. Just put on. So that's all we're doing is replacing. And that's it. it should come off, there should be a little look. It should slide off. There it goes. That is going to be right there, which unfortunately is laying right there. So that's going to have to go back in, take this off, and there you go. Now this already had the heavy duty spring on it. Uh, we're going to replace it anyways. But this is already shimmed out. Normally you put it shimmed in here. Put this on here like that. Okay, there's that. Next thing up for grabs is this thing. Oh, the spring. I'll take the spring. Now the stock spring actually fits in these grooves. This part right here has a little tab on it, bends out, fits on the grooves. Um, these don't have that. See the heavy duty spring? Fits like there. I'm gonna take this. Now what you wanna do, See the keyway right here? Put that right on top. And that way, when you go to line it up, you know where it's at. What you also want to do is take these, these three right here, make sure they line up in the middle of each one of these. Okay, you line these up. That's, all right. See clamp on there. Once you get it where you want it, you put a bar in there. Something thin using this rod. Pulley over here, place it right inside there. Just make sure you get it somewhere it's good. It's really going to hold it. Okay. Just hold on to it. Release. Clamp. Extra careful, clamp out of there. Put your nylon washer on. Your keyway. Slide your plate on.
put your washer on there. And you're not. Okay. Once you get that, you're home free. Just be careful. I think it's still slip and bite you. Just gonna go hand tight for a little bit. Okay, this is a G16. So this is, hey, pop that out. So all it was is a piece of metal rod, that's it. It's gonna bend as you're doing it, but it doesn't matter as long as it holds it. Just be careful. This is a G16, so this is a 47 foot pounds of torque. It takes a wrench out, get on there. Now you're gonna have to hold that. So, very careful. High up on both of them, from the bottom. Inside here, you'll find a there's a zerk fitting, right? The gold thing. Okay. And you give that one shot of grease. Get right on the zerk fitting. Yes. That's it, you're done.